What are the chances of you becoming the victim of a violent crime? Fact. Nine out of ten people will be directly affected by crime during their lifetime. Who's safer, men or women? Fact. Women are the number one target of violent crime. Rape is now the fastest growing major crime in America. One in two females alive today will be raped during their lifetimes, many more than once, given the recent escalation of this crime. Can you spot a criminal? What does a suspicious looking person look like? Most criminals blend in and most of us would have a difficult time picking the real criminal. This woman appears to be an easy target. Well, she's not. This man has picked the wrong woman. Watch closely. Imagine having the power to simply touch someone and instantly stop aggression, hostility, and immobilize them without violence or even the threat of violence. Sound like something from Star Wars? Well, you've just witnessed pulse wave technology in action, a product of the space age. The device, totally disguised, was attached to her keys. It's called a myotron, and it can save your life. I'm Linda Watkins. Someone once said, knowledge is power. So we're going to expose some of the myths about crime. And we're going to give you some answers on how you can protect yourself and your family, including an in-depth look at the new science of pulse wave technology, which you just witnessed in action. But first, see if you can find yourself or someone you know in any of these situations. And it's on. We just died. She was shopping. He followed her home. The rest is history. And her children are now orphans. The question, how do we protect ourselves? We're here with career criminologist Janice Daisy, looking for some answers. Janice, you investigated this case. Was this woman in the wrong place at the wrong time, or what? With this nation's crime rate, the wrong place at the wrong time could be anywhere at any time. In this case, she was shopping. He followed her home. He broke in. She then sprayed him with an aerosol. And it didn't work? Obviously not. The truth is there are a world of problems with most of these products. They were first developed for use on animals, not humans. They lose pressure. They're difficult to aim. If a breeze is blowing, if he's wearing glasses, 
if he moves, turns his head, or even puts up his hand. All you've done is to challenge him and to increase the danger to yourself. I see. Now, how did he get in the house? Right through the front door. Let's look at some videotape which shows you how easy it is. Despite the deadbolt being locked, a small crowbar is used to force the door frame away from the deadbolt. The deadbolt doesn't necessarily break, but the door frame does almost every time. 20 seconds and he's in. Now watch this. As you can see, sometimes they just let us open the door for them. Also, a dog barking or lights left on is just advertising you're not home, and contrary to popular belief, dogs are easy to take out. So Janice, what's the answer? It's sitting right in front of you. My opinion? Pulse wave technology. All right, Janice, hold that thought, for you and I are about to talk with other experts and crime victims, such as Lauren Cox, who thought she was safe walking with her boyfriend in a public area, ended up being gang raped, and Sharon Comlos, who's going to tell us what it's like to be shot, permanently blinded, kidnapped, raped, stabbed, and left for dead. Mr. David Eaton, past president of the legendary Colt Firearms, is going to tell us why a gun may not be in our best interest. And this lady, Pam Garrett, a 12-year veteran instructor of self-defense, standing over six feet tall, who says many self-defense courses give women a false sense of security. Mr. Eaton, you're the past president of Colt Firearms, the legendary firearm company, and also considered one of the world's experts on guns. Can you tell me why you don't advocate women using guns. Pick that up like you were afraid of it. I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Yes, it is true that I'm not an advocate of, of guns in, the, in a situation such as we're talking about. Uh, I, I've never believed that uh, guns were an adequate and acceptable method for self-defense. They breed violence. The presence of a gun accentuates the possibility for violence. Why do you say guns tend to promote violence? Because whenever you display anything that resembles a weapon, you force the other person to make a decision. That decision is either to retreat or become more aggressive. But you force that decision. You've challenged him, and in doing that, you dramatically increase the potential for violence. Well, one might ask, if all this doesn't work, what does? Well, one answer may be an amazing little device, a product of the space age, called a pulse wave myotron. It's disguised not to look like a weapon, look like a weapon, but rather something you might have with you or attached to your keys. And while non-lethal, they say it's amazingly effective. We're here with Dr. Russell Wilson, MD, PhD, and neurologist who will explain how pulse wave technology works. And then we're going to watch this amazing little instrument in action. Dr. Wilson, how exactly do pulse waves affect the human body? Well, simply stated, hostility originates in the hypothalamic region of the brain. And our voluntary muscles are controlled by electrical impulses originating in the autonomic region of the brain. When you touch someone with a myotron, the electronic pulse waves interrupt or block these signals. So it intercepts the brain waves and scrambles the nervous system. Basically, yes. Well, what happens then? The person will simply collapse and remain very passive. For how long? Depending upon the length of contact. They can be immobilized for up to 30 minutes, and they may remain passive for hours. And it's not lethal? It's absolutely non-lethal, and recovery is complete with no after effects. Thank you, Doctor. I'm sure our audience is as anxious as I am to see the pulse wave myotron work. So we're going to watch this amazing instrument in action. She stands six foot four inches tall. Her name is Pamela Garrett, and she's a black belt 12-year veteran self-defense instructor. Pamela, 
Can we sit down so I don't feel quite so short? Sure. Pam, you carry a Myotron. Why? Because it works every time. No muss, no fuss, no violence. I'll buy that. Show us how it works. Couldn't be simpler. You activate it by pulling the safety slide back and pressing the hidden button. The pulse wave comes from the tip. It has a wrist strap so you don't have to hold it when carrying packages and so that someone cannot take it away from you. Also, it has a quick release key attachment. Keys are the most commonly carried item on earth, so it's simple. If you have your keys, you're protected. Pam, earlier I asked if you would mind if we demonstrated it on you, but you wouldn't volunteer. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm Ed, and this is my wife, Shelley. I told her again and again, nobody's safe anymore. And since I'm not around all the time, we have to get you a gun. She says she doesn't want a gun, especially with the kids around. Then she mentions this Myatron thing. And honestly, I thought it was some kind of a stun gun. Anyway, she keeps on and on. It's got a money-back guarantee and a lifetime warranty. So I ordered one. It arrives, and I checked it out. Take it from me. It's no stun gun, and this is no toy. In one one-thousandth of a second, it completely scrambles your nervous system, yet it's still safe. Never needs recharging. On one lithium power pack, it can actually test fire every day for 10 years. I'm a skeptic, and I'll tell you, <laughs> I was impressed. So like I was telling her, she doesn't need a gun. Best idea I ever had. So I bought one for myself in black. Okay, well, let's go watch it in action right now. You old people sit on my bench. You're going to have to pay. Right. We don't want any trouble. Yeah, y'all run along and play. You hear this old man? What's this jive he's talking? You run along and play. You better give me your wallet, mister, or I'm going to rearrange your head. Oh, I didn't realize you were such tough guys. Okay, okay, here's the wallet. Yeah, you might as well take my car keys, too. His name, Thomas Rossi. Serial rapist. Repeat offender. His preferences were simple. Female and blonde. Sharon Comlos. Female and blonde. You were on your way home when you noticed a car pulling alongside you. At that moment, you had no way of knowing that that demented creature driving the other car would in seconds turn your life into a living hell. He fired three shots into your car. The second one hit you, blinding you for life. Sharon, tell us in your own words what happened next? Well, there was a flash of light and then suddenly darkness. And a man's voice appeared at my window offering to take me to the hospital. He helped me out of my car and into his. We drove for a while and the car came to a stop. He helped me into a building and the door slammed shut behind me. And suddenly I realized I was not in a hospital. My God, Sharon, this was the man who shot you. Yes, I was now in a room with a man I was unable to see. He pushed me down on a mattress and then put a pillow over my face and tried to suffocate me. The whole ordeal lasted about 11 hours. Um, then throughout the night, I was stabbed and raped. In the morning, I was awakened to the sound of a plastic trash bag and the sounds of my clothing being thrown into that trash bag. And, then the man reached down and picked at my wrist as if he was feeling for a pulse. And then I heard him leave. The police speculate that he left me to find a way to dispose of my body. And when I realized he had gone, I got up, made my way to the door, and walked out onto a balcony. Now, let me get this straight. You were on the balcony, and you couldn't see, but you could tell you were outside. Yes, because I could feel the warm concrete under my feet and I could feel the warm sun on my body. But I was afraid he was going to come back very quickly. 
So I started to scream. Now, a man that was driving by saw you on that balcony, and he took you to the hospital. Yes, and if it weren't for him, I probably wouldn't be sitting here today. My name is Bert Stickler. I spent 27 years as a special agent with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. As you are probably aware, an out-of-control epidemic of violent crime is sweeping this nation. Law enforcement simply does not have the money or the manpower to contain it. Therefore, it's up to each of us to take responsibility for our own safety. The new Myotron checkmate was originally designed for law enforcement. This means it is manufactured to the highest possible standards. Being small and cleverly disguised provides a major advantage for its owner. As such, there is no question that it represents a major breakthrough in personal protection for the 90s. I carry a Myotron because it is a safe and sensible alternative to carrying a lethal weapon. If you are serious about protecting yourself and your family, then take it from me. The Myotron is the answer. We don't go many places without our keys. And since the Myotron can attach to your keys, the real advantage is that you automatically have it with you. Take your hands off me. Baby, you and me can party. Last time I'm gonna say this, bozo. Get your hands off me. What happened to him? Oh, just a little attitude adjustment concerning women. Well, it looks like we've just given new meaning to the term, reach out and touch someone. <laughs> For those of you who just tuned in, we're referring to the Pulse Wave Myotron with its ability to neutralize hostile signals of aggression from the brain while scrambling the nervous system. And we're going to see it in action. You okay? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Here, let me help. Thank you. I guess I should have asked my wife to come along and help. This is my van. Here, I'll just put these in here for you. Thank you. Get in. What was that? This is a Myotron, and this is a badge, and you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. All right, ladies, be honest. How many of you would have walked away from him when he first dropped his books? Well, this is how Ted Bundy, the serial rapist and murderer, operated. And I'm sure there are some people in the audience who must have questions for our panel. Yes, I wanted to ask you, Mr. Eaton, as past president of Colt Firearms, what do you think of this product? Well, Obviously today, people have to take responsibility for their own safety. And we once produced a legendary gun called the Peacemaker, the gun that won the West. But I'm probably going to surprise a lot of people by agreeing with Janice. The modern Peacemaker today is the Pulse Wave Myotron. Okay, but as a weapons expert, what was it that first impressed you about the Myotron? First, it's small size and convenience. Attach your keys to it, and you automatically have it with you. Seconds, it's disguised. It doesn't look like a weapon, so there's no threat of violence. Unlike a gun, you don't have to practice with it. Third, it's highly effective, but not lethal. And I do agree with Sharon. I believe this technology, these products, will change the way people, particularly women, think and function in today's society. Janice, my husband said that the Myotron is a small stun gun. Is that true? No. The Myotron is not a stun gun. That's like comparing a typewriter to a computer. The Myotron is light years away from a stun gun. 
I'd like to ask the doctor, how safe is the Myotron around children? The Myotron is safe and non-lethal. It has a safety mechanism. And keep in mind that the Myotron affects only voluntary muscles, not involuntary muscles, which control the heart and respiratory system. In fact, it emits only 1 20th the power required for heart fibrillation. There are no after effects. It has no detrimental effect on people who have heart conditions or heart pacemakers. What is the power source and how many times can you use it? And does it work through clothes? Mr. Eaton, why don't you field that question? It's powered by lithium. It never has to be recharged. It's capable of up to 250 bursts and requires no recovery time between applications. And it will work through up to one half inch of clothing. Pamela Garrett, my question is this. If someone were like choking you and you touch them on the hand to the arm, would you feel anything? Well, the answer is no. Even if he were strangling you and you touched him on the arm, you won't feel anything, but he will, big time. Go ahead, please. I'd like to ask Janice, will this work on people who are on drugs? Absolutely. And the size or strength of an individual is irrelevant. Your life or the life of a loved one may depend on what you do in the next 60 seconds. Statistics indicate there is a 93% chance that you or someone in your family will become the victim of one of these crimes. For your own peace of mind, go to the phone right now. Call the number appearing on your screen and join the millions of Americans who have made the decision to protect themselves and their families. Operators are standing by. You may use your Visa or MasterCard for five easy payments of $39.95. Shipping and handling is included. Or send check or money order to Ariane, Box 86, Stewart, Florida, 34995. Now ask yourself this question. What is your life or the life of a loved one worth? This is a risk-free offer, so you have nothing to lose. Order the Myotron, get the brochure and video free, and if you are not absolutely convinced that this is the finest product you have ever seen for personal protection, simply return it and pay nothing. Obviously, only a product as good as the Myotron can make this offer. And remember, the Myotron is powered by lithium, so it is absolutely maintenance-free. There are no batteries to buy or recharge, and best of all, the Myotron comes with a limited lifetime warranty. So why take a chance? A simple phone call can provide a lifetime of security for you and your loved ones. But do it now, for tomorrow may be too late. We all like happy endings, but ladies, it's reported that 87% of us cannot change a flat tire. Janice, as a criminologist, you're familiar with a story that graphically illustrates this point. Well, this is a true story of two sisters, Ariane and Alexia, who were shopping for Alexia's upcoming oh. wedding. This oh. one. Try it on. Perfect. Oh, that's you. Is it me? That's you, sis. You're going to be a beautiful bride, you know that? I can't believe it's in less than one month. I know. <laughs> Need to hurry up and get home. It's getting late. Oh, no, we've got a flat. We're going to be late. Oh, thank God, somebody stopped. Open that door, woman! Open that door, woman! 
Open that door, woman. I'll open it, Bubba. I got a key. Open that door. I got it, Bubba. I got it. The door open, my roof. I got it. The door open, my roof. Come here, honey. Come on. I got you, Bubba. Since those horror-filled days and nights, Alexia has been confined to this mental institution. She never speaks, staring at a wall. At night, she often moans pitifully, as if reliving the horror of those days and nights in the woods. Ariana, she was carried from the woods, ravaged and bleeding, barely clinging to life, murmured softly, find them, please. And then she died. the realities of this all we have to do is pretend pretend that this is not really happening and that violence has not reached epidemic proportions in this country since we began this documentary over 2400 crimes have been committed including over 1,000 acts of violence over 500 people have been assaulted over 100 women have been raped and 30 people have died violent deaths My name is Dina Dare. I'm not an actress, and what I'm about to tell you is a true story. I live in a high security building, and I'm very aware and very cautious. And I was being stalked. I just didn't know it. He was six feet tall on drugs, violent, and armed with a knife. During the attack, I kept backing away from him, offering him all my money. He said he was going to cut my throat from ear to ear and enjoy watching me die. Believe me, once you've been there, you know what fear is. The only chance I had was to use something I had just purchased, a myotron. When he lunged at me, I prayed and pushed the button. In less than a second, it was over. The myotron penetrated his jacket and sweatshirt. He dropped the knife, and then he dropped to the ground, dazed. When I bought my little white angel, I wondered if it was really worth it. In one instant, I found out. I can tell you that I am alive today because this product does what it was designed to do. It saved my life. Not maybe, not sort of, but absolutely. Now, ask yourself what your life is worth and then take it from me. There is only one Myotron and this is it. Your life or the life of a loved one may depend on what you do in the next 60 seconds. Statistics indicate there is a 93% chance that you or someone in your family will become the victim of one of these crimes. For your own peace of mind, go to the phone right now, call the number appearing on your screen, and join the millions of Americans who have made the decision to protect themselves and their families. Operators are standing by. You may use your Visa or MasterCard for five easy payments of $39.95. Shipping and handling is included. Or send check or money order to Ariane, Box 86, Stewart, Florida, 34995. Now ask yourself this question. What is your life or the life of a loved one worth? This is a risk-free offer, so you have nothing to lose. Order the Myotron and get the brochure and video free. And if you are not absolutely convinced that this is the finest product you have ever seen for personal protection, simply return it and pay nothing. Obviously, only a product as good as the Myotron can make this offer. So why take a chance? A simple phone call can provide a lifetime of security for you and your loved ones. But do it now, for tomorrow may be too late. This program was brought to you by the Ariane Foundation, dedicated to making your life better and more secure. Thank you for joining us. People don't